Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Chuck Babcock. We're starting today at the Chelmsford. Chelmsford Youth Soccer is playing Drake It. Uh, it's Chelmsford's home game. So Drake now has a free kick, number 36. Oh, and there's a goal right off the bat. One of the Drake kids did a little head flick. Everyone in Chelmsford uh, pretty much stopped. And uh, goal. Everyone's looking around wondering what's going on. Chelmsford's uh, really been struggling in the last few games. They're a little bit out of sorts. They need to get their, their act together and start playing some soccer if they want to have a successful rest of the year. There's a giveaway. Brian Tong with the ball. Passes it. Miss pass outside. Get they recover it though. Looks like they're gonna start over. Back to Chris McCarthy on the D. Switching the fields. Up to Avi on the left side. Good tackle by the Drake player. Just possesses Avi. Chelsea gets the ball back. A decent through ball going out of bounds. Looked like it was last touched by Drakeit, but I'm not sure what the refs are going to call it. Looks like it's going to be a Drakeit ball. Hi, Chuck. Good, good afternoon. Uh, sorry I'm late. Uh, I think that the game started a little bit earlier. I'm joining Chuck Babcock in the description. My name is Rodrigo Carrillo. And uh, we see that we found Chelford down one goal, nothing. Yep. Very early on, huh? 30, mm -hmm. 30, 38, 38 minutes. Yeah, there the was game. a free kick and a little head flick, and everyone watched the ball go in. It was a little amazing, to be honest. I was coming in when, I, when that happened, and apparently the sun was right in the face. Yeah. Not sure who picked what side. Guessing we must have lost the toss or something <laughs> because uh, <laughs> we, we picked the, the the tough side. And yes, uh, the the chance for team has the has the sun in the face now. Yeah, it's hard to move forward, and the keeper is, is hard to to try to stop the ball. Yeah. So Chelsea's been doing a really good job passing and possessing the ball. Um, they're not they haven't moved forward a ton. That's one of the problems. And uh, Drake has just been uh, sending the ball so far, but they got a free kick, which resulted in, in that goal. So even though they really haven't had much possession of the ball, they're, they're up one nothing. They, they converted in that opportunity, I guess. Yep. So Cricket Blackpock had the ball, tried to move the ball around the, to, to the band. Evan Wang pushed the ball back and trying to uh, make a switch. The ball is switched to the other side. Of the field, John Mashensky makes a pass to the middle of the field, and the ball is being possessed by Chelmsford team. The ball goes out of bounds. Record score. Yep, we're making a lot of good passes, but we're uh, we're we're not finishing right. So we string it together a lot, and then and then we make a mistake. 
That was a pretty hard foul there. Um, I think it was Abby that might have got taken out. Uh, looks like we have a free kick. Sean Dolan's going to take the free kick. So the price of price. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start the we're going to start the trivia again <laughs> this week. We're going to ask people who takes the free kick and who takes, takes the, the corner corners. kick. Uh, basically, you don't win money, but if you get it wrong, <laughs> I think you need to pay us. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know well, that. Yeah, well, yeah, I think we should go with that because yeah. it's pretty predictable. Yeah, I, yeah. If you don't know, then you don't you don't know what's going on. <laughs> so it's a good opportunity for us to make a little bit of money. So Chelmsford's finally starting to put a little bit of pressure on here. They're, they are playing the, th the offensive third. Avi Navi is opening in the ball. Cross. Uh, um, looks like they called something. Uh, it was it was out, out of bounds. Um, when he came in from. Uh, oh yeah, it was out of bounds. It was out of bounds. Kids didn't react that way. Ryan Tong is winning the ball in the midfield. Opens up the ball for John Mashensky. Mashensky looking for an option. Gets back to Brian, and Brian. Making room for himself, keeps the ball moving in the, the van. It's a little bit too far in front, a little bit too heavy, which caused Zach to, uh, to go out of have to have a heavy hit just to keep it in and yeah. goes out of bounds. So we're going to have a Drake it goal kick. Good news is with Chelmsford uh, kind of falling asleep at the wheel there for the first two minutes of the game, we got a a long time uh, in order to uh, get that one back. It's just tough when you have to play from uh, from behind. It's never, it's never, ne never good. So Sean's under a lot of pressure there back at D, but smartly makes a nice play to the keeper. They switch fields. Sean Mashinsky. Some good play out of the midfield there. Just need to get that ball moving forward. Out of bounds, ball for uh, chance for. John Machinsky is going to send it in. Chris Babcock's on the ball and get, get it back to defense. So switching fields. They're doing a good job moving the ball. They just got to have a little bit more urgency getting forward, I think. I think the Chancellor team is controlling the ball well in the, fir in the first two thirds, but the third third, uh, defensive third, they, they don't uh, they don't seem to go. Well, they, they haven't been down there very it. often right now, so that's that's part of the problem. If and they can get down there. And Abby oh. took a shot; it went a little bit high, but uh, he's, he's start to turn uh, to make the keeper work. So that was a great opportunity. That was a good ball to Abby, who made a little hesitation move. That change of speed opened up room, but he overhit it. So like he got got under it, went over the net, but. Very good goal scoring opportunity. Probably the best goal scoring opportunity of the game for either side. So, so far. Ball's going back. Sean Dolan's making a good play to recover. Andrew Tong staying nice and wide to, to receive that ball to break out. But we just had a turnover. But Sean Dolan did a nice job once again of uh, winning the ball back. And switch fields now, the boys will be in good shape. Chris McCarthy has been playing defense since uh, Ben Rosano was out. Chris McCarthy. Yes. Chris McCarthy's Chris been playing. McCarthy, yes, yeah. yeah. So Chris McCarthy's been filling in for Ben Rosano. So we've had a lot of um, tough mm -hmm. injuries and kids being sick for the last couple of weeks. We've probably had on average four to five kids not being available for each game. Um, now we're down to two. So we have uh, Alec Hargett, who's not available. He, uh, he is out for the season. He's got a, a knee injury that's putting him out for the season. Um, ben Rosano is the other one who's still out. He's recovering from a 
from a rib type injury, R broken ribs and so forth. I think there were some cracks. There were fortunately yeah. no, no broken, but uh, yeah, some cracked ribs and some other internal stuff. But uh, he's recovering, and uh, he is expected back soon. We don't have a timeline yet, but he's expected back soon. So they only have two out today. So um, overall, compared to where they've been playing, they have a pretty good Kelty amount team. of yeah. team here today. So. Long ball from the record team. Goes directly to the hands of the keeper, Ryan Callahan. So Ryan Callahan uh, surveys the field, try to make his uh, this ball count. He goes to uh, to the right side of the, the field. The Drake kid was pretty fortunate. I thought he had misplayed it, and it was going to bounce over his head. It just caught him, so I could have had Avi break free if that had gone through. We're still struggling the, with that ball to move forward. A lot of possession, but we're not really moving forward. Drake is not looking to go at all. They're, they're just hanging back. They're, they've got a one nothing lead, and uh, they're very content to uh, yeah, not so put pressure on up top, and they're going to... They don't seem to have the urgency to, to move forward. No, no. They are attacking only right now with two players. So it looks like we're going to have a corner. John Mazinski on the block. Here's the corner kick. Short. Still um. is Drekos ball. And they allow them to, uh, Chancellor allowed the Drekos team to, to make a kick to the net. It was pretty weak, but uh, nobody was there to st really stop the no, kick. No, I'm it was pretty far out. It was yeah. non-factor for sure, but I'm surprised there's no one there, at least. To, to prevent this kind of... Yeah, prevent the shot. Yeah, you never know. We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of goals the last few games that never thought would go in, and they do. So you you can't allow any shots to be, you know, on net because anything can happen in soccer, right? Yeah, and especially when you have the, the sun on your face. Uh, look at the keeper. The keeper has to keep the head up, trying to absolutely uh, trying to see something. Yeah, it's very distracting. Chelmsford uh, today does not seem to be playing with a lot of sense of urgency. They, they seem to be really laid back. Um, I don't know. They, they don't seem to have the fire that they've had the last few games. They, the last game they played, um, they played against Lowell. And uh, they lost that game 2-0. Um, it, was, it was really a anybody's game. Um, they ended up with Lowell scored a, a late goal because we were pushing hard to try to get back. But uh, Chelsea played well. They, they played really well, and uh, it was a very close game, and Lowell's Low probably field. the best team in the whole state. They're completely undefeated. They've been winning by five and six goal margins on most of their games. So... Yeah, the, the Lowell team had a very skillful players. Very skillful very players. Very fast, uh, precision, and they were very, very skillful to move the ball. So ball for Abby that couldn't get there. He was attacking. So, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, we were distracted here a little bit. So, we, uh, there was an offside here uh, from Chelmsford. Draco team is going to put the ball in movement. But yes, Chuck, seems like the, the, there is no urgency today. No, uh, there's no urgency. Uh, maybe because the weather is warmer. usually warmer than other day that for a, for a fall night.
So Mashensky is struggling to keep the ball. He sends it back to the keeper. And as you can see, they're, they're not going to press deep. Drakit's not going to get stretched. Well, I think Drake is, is pretty content with, with one goal advantage right now. Yep. The most likely is going to play for the long balls and uh, try to make out of that. In the meantime, defend their, that goal. Yeah, we're just we're, we're, we're just playing at half speed right now. We need to really start moving the ball forward. We need to go, go, go. It's almost like um, because Drakeit doesn't seem to be as good of a team from a mm -hmm. skill standpoint, um, Chelmsford is very laid back. So they're really possessing well, but they're so laid, ba laid back, there's no urgency to move that ball forward. Well, it doesn't create any danger. No. Uh, right now we have the first sub of the, of the game. Uh, Alvaro goes in from uh, Chuck Babcock. And uh, number 16, which is? Zach Hardy went in. Chris Grover went in for Zach Hardy. Thank you, Chuck. I still need to remember now some a couple of names. <laughs> As you were saying, Chuck, the, the team, the chance for team has plenty of subs today. So let's see if, if the coach decides to use them so to keep them fresh and and, and, uh, and put more urgency to this game. So I, I like how we play soccer across the field, backwards and so forth. But, like we've talked about a bunch of times already in the short game, is we're, we're playing too defensive. You know, we're down a goal. There needs to be a sense of urgency. Um, I'm not sure what the coach is doing or saying, but he really needs to be driving them to, to move that ball forward. Because right now, they're not. It's, it's, it's all pass and possession. And Andrew Tong's getting fouled all over the place. And the referee calls out of bounds on Andrew Taunt. Drake switches the field. Chris Grover is pressing. And uh, they go for a long ball again, but the Drake player is offside. Must be a good call. The Drake it doesn't seem to be complaining at all. Or there's a through ball by Alvaro, Josh Afuso, and Drake it just plays it out of bounds. Out of bounds. They're not looking to take any chances whatsoever with having that early one goal lead. They give you the the, the comfort of being uh, being defensive now. The ball's keep moving. So even, Josh even gets young. taken down and. Uh, the ref standing right there and nothing. I assume that was a, a fair play, apparently. Oh we okay. have a corner kick for the chance for team. Uh, Ryan Tong is going to take it. Oh, you, f you gave up the trivia. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We had to ask. I'm losing the who money. Who is I'm taking the corner <laughs> kick? <laughs> The that answer was a is so Brian Tong. <laughs> ball all the way back. Defender, Sean, Sean take the ball. Ma uh, McCarthy, now John Machinsky, making room for themselves. The ball goes back to the center field, midfield by Bra to Brian, and then go back to the defense. Chancellor's playing good possession, trying to make it find the space. And crack open this uh, Draco team. They are defending themselves. Ball goes out of bound. Ryan Tong is trying to move the ball back to defense again, trying to spread out the uh, Draco team. A nice switch of the fields. That goes the ball to John Mashensky. And John Mashensky gets taken out after the play. And no call. I think Chelsea's going to have to get used to Drake it packing it in and going for balls late and just having the, they're going to have to suck it up and start to really push hard to get up into that offensive end. 
I think that's, that's what they need to do because right now the Draco team seems to be doing that exactly, falling back and defending themselves. Yep. question will be is since Drake is running around a lot and Chelsea is doing a lot of passing and possession what will that look like later in the game the second will, will, will it take a toll on the Drake players um, getting tired there's a threat now Drake has got the ball in the end Chelsea makes a good block that was Chris McCarthy who made a, a good block on that play to not allow a shot on goal and there's Chris again following up. Playing good defensively. Drake definitely has a different style of play. There's a lot of individual play, not a lot of passing and possession. But when they get into the offensive end, they're going to goal. They're trying to score. So now we have the uh, south from uh, Drake. 13 and 16 and 33 goes go in. 21 and 4 come out. So looks like we have a Drake at corner kick. Another potential threat. Good clear by one of the Chelmsford players. We have a break. This could be a possibility. It's a two on one, a three on two. Oh, the Draco player makes a good play. Oh, oh there's a shot on goal, but the Draco keeper came out and made a save. And now there's a, a foul on Joshua Fuso just outside the box. So Chelsea's going to get a free kick just outside the box. That was a, that was a nice break huge too. opportunity that could have easily been Chelmsford's second goal of the game. Two more feet closer to the net, and we would have had ourselves a, a penalty kick. Yes. Yeah. But at least the foul got caught this time. Ooh, deflection. Oh, deflection. Off the wall and into the net. Well, Josh Afuso. Josh Afuso with the goal. Oh, that was a little bit fortunate for Chelsea to be able to hit the, the ball, make a deflection, and, and throw the goalie off and go in net. It's probably justified based on a couple of the opportunities that we've had already. The Drake goal was a tough goal. It wasn't a very good goal. So being 1-1 is probably a, a very good thing for the Chelmsford team right now. Um, maybe this will wake them up, get a little fire under them. Uh, maybe it will also change how Drake is playing the game, uh, which may also open things up a little bit in the back end. Right, right. So the uh, first, let me announce, it was a, a sub from the Chelmsford team. Brian Tom came out and uh, Chris uh, Babco came in for as a midfielder. And now the game is started again and uh, Draco seems to have up. Oh, and they played for the offside and there was no offside. And Chomsrid is now down two to one. Draco recovered that goal very quickly. Yeah. Draco, the Draco player just dribbled the goalie Made a nice move and passed it into the open net. Yeah, the, the, the Chinsford team was waiting for the whistle and never came. And yep, they were all looking over, looking for the offside call, and the offside call was not there. So as quickly as we're back to two to one to one, they have this game tied. Chelmsford is now down again, two to one. And Drake it like we talked about. They have no sense of urgency again. They started the press hard, and now they're looking to just play. And play defensively. Chomps is doing a good ball job switching the field. But once they, as they start to get to the offensive third, they, they lose it. John Dolan has been playing a great defense all season long. He has been yes, he's been doing a good job back there. He's very calm and he controls the ball. Make, uh, um, he comes out with the ball uh, under control in the defense. You yep. don't see that very often at, uh, on, on defense. No. Nope. It's been really good considering 
two of the the two def Chelmsford players that have been hurt most of the season and still hurt right now are both center defenders. Right, so Sean's natural position, um, he's a good defender, but you know he his preference is not to play defense. Uh, he'd prefer to play a, a, a midfield position. So he's he's subbing in and, and playing because of the injuries that we have um, with that position. So he's not having any opportunities at all to be able to play the position he prefers to play, and he's doing a great job back there. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Another foul that was called on Chelmsford. Another Drake it free kick. This is a little bit further out than the first one where they scored the goal on the flick, but not much further. There was a whistle. There was before. a whistle before the goal. There was an offside. So that doesn't count as a goal. Schultz is not looking very strong back there on these on these set plays on these free kicks. They're they're not winning headers. And uh, Drake is getting there, all their opportunities from that. So even though there wasn't a goal, there was an opportunity there. Because the Chelsea team was not aggressive enough to yeah. go for those goals. We're, we're getting exposed. We're really getting exposed and, you know, when Drake it pushes. And we can't seem to, to get going in the offensive third. Ball out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be a Drake it throw. Chelmsford gains control. The ball to the midfield, Eben Wang is being put under pressure. Get the ball to Avi. Avi is running to the, to the outside. Oh, and it's took major take takeout. Major takeout. No ball touch there. No, there was no ball. It was just all, all player. Just a reckless slide tackle. Wonder if we're going to see a card on that one. That was really, really reckless. Those are very dangerous. They can injure kids. So yeah, it doesn't look like it. No Looks no like this ref is not really enforcing the safety of the game here and giving the player a yellow card. That was a pretty significant foul there. That was a missed kick by Sean. He was looking to go over the wall and he hit it into the wall. Seems like Sean Dunham now is playing more of a midfield position, isn't he? He's, he's playing up. It's, no. har it's hard to see. It looks like that's the case. It looks like uh, I'm not sure what they're doing right now with the formation. Brian Tong seems to be falling back on defense, uh, as defender. Sean Dolan seems to be taking the midfield position. There was, it seemed like there was a formation change here. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen Brian Tong Playing defense. play defense. Yeah. So. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Dolan is staying in the midfield. Let's we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how this I, works. I, I think Sean it's funny that we talked about that, right? Yes. Just a few minutes ago that he has not been able to play the position he prefers to play. Oh, and there's a takedown. The referee just so lets it go, yeah. So a uh, uh, fair play there. Just went for the ball. It's a good ball what? to Abby. Oh, he wins the ball. Oh, but he loses control. Josh tries to feed the ball in, but it was deflected, and Drake does a pretty good job, at least knocking it out of bounds on the sideline to not give up a corner kick. Ball is in play, just uh, to the hands of the keeper. Too tight, too tight. Ball needed to be Put it away much further away to give our chances. Away to, give yeah. Yeah, to give the opportunity. There were plenty of chance of players there waiting for a, for a chance. Yeah, it's either you got to shoot, or you got to put it in a place where they can play. Ball to Zach Hardy. 
Makes nice. a nice move. Oh, almost. Trying almost to build into Josh. To, Sean, uh, to Josh. And, uh, but there was a good record defender waiting for that. So we have almost 10 minutes left in this game. In this half? In this half. Th uh, 10 minutes left in this half. Uh, looks like it deflected out off the Draco player when we we're trying to do a cross. I can't tell if it's a corner. Yep, it looks like it's going to be a corner kick. A corner kick. And it's not Brian Tong this time not around. Not Brian Tong. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's changed because Brian Tong now is he's back on there. defense where he's not played. Um, so. The trivia quiz is it's off. It's no longer play on, on, on play, guys. No, it's no longer <laughs> on play. We, we're not going to be asking you quizzes anymore with the formation change that they have. This is uh, unique. We haven't seen this all year. Yes, yes. But it's very interesting to see uh, Sean Dolan in the midfielder. We'll see how he plays there. Yep. Uh, we believe that's a more comfortable position for him, even though he has been doing great as a defender. Fast Drake a player and Brian Tong being there. So so that's one issue that I'm not sure who the coach recognizes, right? Brian Tong is a tremendous soccer player, right? But he is not one of our faster players on the field. And he is now as that center defender position. Drake has a very fast striker. Number so 11, very number close. 11. So, so that is a significant mismatch for us on pure three balls. Brian will win every skill battle there is, but on a pure speed through ball, we don't have Sean back there with his size and his speed. So hopefully the coach will uh, Could adjust to, to yeah, we'll pay attention to that potential issue and make adjustments as needed. Sean Dolan's in the long ball to Abby, but Abby couldn't get there. Draco Defender was able to turn the back and defuse the danger. Now it's about that uh, Chris McCarthy will try to defend. Ooh, that, that was close. There was that a was close, close, loaded ball that uh, Ryan Canahouse was able to hold, but it was coming dangerously. Very dangerous. High. Very dangerous. One of those lofted floating balls that. Uh, if the sneaking. keeper is snuck out and not on his line, can find its way just to make it over his head. Andrew Chong with a good tackle there on the outside D. Looking to make a through ball, but there was no one there. And here's a good pass to Alvaro. Oh, Alvaro hits it, but he mishits it. Let's get it. Had the ball in the middle, there was an opportunity, just just didn't quite hit us. Chelsea had a misplay there, so it goes out of bounds, Drake could throw in. Mm -hmm. So this fast striker from uh, Draco is coming out, huh? Yep, they put in number nine. I think we've, we've seen him before. So um, he's another player that from Draco that doesn't have a lot of skill, but he's very fast and very physical. So um, and, uh, the matchup still could be a, a threat based on, on the speed, on the speed yeah. of who we have playing back there. for ball. John Mashensky is going to put the ball in, in play. Uh, John Mashensky is another defender that is doing very well this season. Yep. So we have a potential here. There's an attacking threat. Abby on the outside. He's just running out of room. Too many defenders. No options. Chris yeah. McCarthy made a nice save there. It wasn't a lot of uh, defenders back. It could have been a threat for Drake. It. Uh, yeah, you could see that how number nine was ready to run with that ball. And Chomps has got a throw in.
Drake just clears the ball wide. How to bounce. Chelsea really made themselves this game very difficult for themselves today. Yes, yes, two easy goals. They allowed two easy goals, and uh, now they have to work hard to, to recover. Ball goes out of bounds. And they oh. Looks like it's Chelsea's the ball. Chelsea threw the ball in, but not sure if he, to who. Switching fields. A lot of space open over there. Oh. Shandolin attempted a long shot. And, uh, he missed hit it, got blocked. That's yes, that's something we have to work in chance for I guess. Those uh, those those shots are not coming strong. No, he miss hit it. Plus it was pretty ambitious. We're at 25, 30, 30, 35 yards out. We're quite a distance out. That would have been very exciting though. <laughs> would have been exciting. <laughs> that would have had to been one heck of a shot. Yes, but uh, yeah, it was a long shot and it was misfired. That would have been a Cristiano Ronaldo type shot from, from that distance. Chelsea just one touch passing all over the field. But can they get but a shot on that? Yes. Can they make a through ball and, and work this magic? In the box of Drake it so far, no. The no. hard answer to that question is no. That third offend uh, the uh, offensive third is just becoming difficult for Chenford to control the ball. Very difficult. But not able to do anything out there. And then the couple of opportunities we did have, we've uh, we've squandered them. We've shot wide, we've shot over. Oh. Uh, we've had missed shots, missed hit shots. So there is only three minutes left from, from this half. Uh, Alvaro comes out and uh, number five, Evan Wang comes in. I'm still trying to find out what position he's gonna play because Alvaro was playing of, uh, with uh, a forward, but I don't think yeah, Evan went forward. Not, yeah, I'm not sure. I, yeah. I almost like they're playing a three, four, three or something mm -hmm. where um, they're they're playing with only three defenders in the back, knowing that they're they need to get some more players forward. It's a ball wide, crossed in, nobody there. Oh, taken down, uh, taken down in the box. One taken down outside the box, one taken down in the box. And no whistle. No calls. I'm a little perplexed. One of those things you will never find an answer for, Chuck. No, no, I'm never going to find an answer. There's a cross. Once again, there's no one there. We're either too deep too wide we have nobody on the on the short post we have no one on the middle we almost have everyone far post and, and the ball's not not making it there well it looks like uh, that was a pretty fast two minutes there um, uh, I think they went way faster than I was really expecting. really fast so it looks like we are at halftime um, halftime score Drake at two chumps at one the chance for team is ready to start playing. Seems that we have at least one change. Ethan Harsh is going to start mostly as most likely striker, possible. I'm not sure what the formation is right now, but he's definitely either in a midfield or a striker position. Chelmsford is definitely playing with only three defenders right now. So um, it looks like they're playing almost like a uh, three, three back, two holding type mids, and then uh, three more offensive mids and one striker. That's almost what it looks like they're playing right now. It's, it's a little hard to tell. Um, and if that's the case, then Ethan Hirsch is playing, I think, uh, one of the outside positions. 
um, outside right mid. And uh, Sean Dolan again is playing midfielder. They, they, they want to have a goal this time. It seems like they're putting more pressure forward. Number 11 from uh, Draco. Oh, uh, we don't Stalin. have enough players back. We don't have enough players back. Oof, that was a that was a close one. Close one. That was a close one. Good opportunity by Drakeit because we don't have enough players in the back on the on the weak side. Um, I'm not sure who's supposed to be back. I'm thinking it may be Avi, but depending on I don't know what this formation is, so it's hard to tell. But Andrew Tong was back there all alone with two d two Drakeit players there. I saw a point that he was in the middle of three players, so yeah, he was really up number. The first uh, 60 seconds of this uh, second half, apparently I can see that the chance for team seems to show a little bit more urgency. So far things are not coming very well because the uh, Draco team has been putting more pressure on chance for. Looks like uh, the ref called a foul. Andrew Tong got, got taken, got hit late, and uh, actually a foul got called on that one. Oh no. Brian Tong. Brian Tong just took a long shot that just went over the net and uh, hit the goal post and deflected down. So it was probably about one foot too high. Um, but but, but it was a good shot. That's a good shot, and that's what they had to do. But the, but the keeper has the sun on their, on their face. That's, that's what you have to do. Absolutely. You have to try it. You have to try it. Yeah. He's going to struggle. He's going to really have a hard time. Uh, maybe Chelsea got it right with what the call was because uh, the further along we go, that sun is getting lower and lower into the sky. So it's probably going to get worse as this game goes on, not not better. Not no better, indeed. So Number 11 from Dracon, he's trying to get the ball, and uh, Sean Mashensky. John Musiansky made a nice play to flick that ball out. Slide tackle, that's really dangerous to, to do, especially when you're in your own box. Uh, he got all ball, but that, that, can oof, be a that, that could have easily been a PK with one little bit of a misstep. Now Drakeit has uh, their first corner of the second half, the first corner of the second half period for any team. The Draco team was able to put ahead of the ball. So two Draco players, three Draco players, touched that ball before any Chelmsford players. Just to get back to the sense of urgency, I, the Chelmsford team was just standing around. They do not want to win this game. This is a game that they should be winning. And right now, they're doing nothing to win the game. And... Um, Right, taking two long balls, uh, Chenford doesn't seem to find its way yet. Yeah, we start to look like we're booting the ball a little bit. Um, we don't want to see that. Want to make some nice plays in this final third now. Is what we want. It's a play to Brian Tong, goes out wide. Zach Hardy tries to penetrate. There's a lot of Drake defenders in there. Switching fields now. Javi <laughs> makes a nice move. Change. Oh, and he gets taken out in the box. He gets taken out in the box. Oh, and the ref calls it outside the box. He was clearly in the box. Oh. The chance for like things to see are a not like to see a replay on that one. The referee puts it right on the line. The referee doesn't seem to want to put more, uh, wants to play the safe side, I guess. Uh, well, he's impacting the game by not making the, the call that's actually on the field. I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. That was, he was at least three feet in the box.
Chelsea's got to be careful here. They don't have a lot of people back. Harvey just put the ball, not sure to who. Jo Josh was making a run towards the sideline. Maybe he was looking for Sean, but Sean was not in the position to go and get the ball. Not, maybe. not that far. Josh Fuso is trying to get a cross in. Gets, gets blocked, goes back again. And just goes out of bounds, ECD. Goes out of bounds. But the, but the goalie touched it before it went out of bounds. But for some reason, the ref is giving it as a goal kick. Wow, Maybe sure. he touched it before. I don't know. I didn't see it. So the referee seemed to think there was a record ball. No, he's not offside. Brian Tong is raising his arm to be offside. That player was... And Drake, it was definitely not offside. And uh, this number 11, I've been saying, is a fast player, so you don't want to give him room. No, no. If, if he starts running, then it's going to be hard to catch. They're going to completely play for the counter. And so call, call, foul called on Brian Tong there in the middle. Got the kid from behind from Drake at number 11. So, so far, the, the game seems to be a bit disorganized. Doesn't seem to be somebody really putting more pressure than the other. No. The uh, passing from any team is not really well uh, formed yet. It uh, seems like the formation changes in the formation is still not being uh, absorbed well by the team. Yeah, it seems a little bit of confusion out there on what people's roles are and, mm -hmm. and so forth with this new formation. So right now we have two defenders. Three defenders, but one is, one is up a little bit high. And is that a corner kick? Uh, I don't think so. But the way it looks, it looks like it might be. Yeah, it's a corner kick. Looks like it's water and corner kick. Yeah. It's hard to see from this point. We have the sun right in front of us. Yep. So we're, we see only shadows. Yeah. The ball is kicked. A chance for to touch the ball first. But the ball is not being diffused. The danger is not being diffused yet. There's a break now. Uh, two Chelsea players, but a lot of Drake players. There's not a lot there. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Chelsea throw in. But there's a switch, there's a change. So Evan Wang is now back in. Uh, Ethan Hirsch is coming out. Coming out. So Evan Wang has a lot of balls and possession, so hopefully he brings more uh, structure to the to the play, yeah. to the game. It's looking like he's playing defense. Center uh, Center back. Center back. It's looking like they've gone back to four in the back. Um, yeah, they're doing four in the back now. They're doing... Sean Dolan and Brian Tong in the middle. Oh, and Sean Another significant down. hard tackle. Slide tackle. Studs up. Nothing done about it. Oh, they're not the reprimand by oh, the Oh, so they're going to just tell him to get off the field. No card, but he has to leave the field. That's something I just don't understand about these uh, high school rules. Uh. Well, the referees don't want to give cards because the teams will become ineligible for the playoffs so in the end the safety of the kids aren't taken into account because uh, they just send the kids off there's no there's no repercussions there's, there's no impact yeah, there's to them no, 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 no long term term refer repercussions yes and the way the rule works if you get sent off you can come back in in 10 seconds so the next stoppage of play when there's a ability to change you can come right back in. 
Brian Tong was trying to get a breakthrough to the, uh, the right. Uh, he was running very fast with the ball toward net, but he was stopped by the uh, Rico defender. Well, looks like we should be getting a goal corner kick out of this. Yep, there's going to be a corner kick. With the formation going back to a little bit normal, not exactly the, the trivia quiz can come back out. Who's going to take the corner <laughs> kick? <laughs> and they go short. But then a long shot. No the ball nobody that was there. wasn't is way, way too long. It went about 25 yards too long over everybody. Good idea to do a quick short kick, but in the end, they didn't execute it. The second part. Yeah. It's about 28 minutes left to go in this game. If Chelsea doesn't get going soon, they're going to run out of time. So uh, this this uh, first 12 minutes, we haven't seen a lot of pot possession from Chelsea. No, they, well, we we've, we've seen some for sure, but but not the same. No, they're, they're no. still not active in the urgency that you would think. Hmm. We have a lot more guys playing unique positions than they've been playing for a, for a lot of the season now too. So here's a potential opportunity. Josh Afuso's going. Oh! Taken down Another again. late slide tackle. I think they're finally going to pull a card out. But this is the, the third one. This is why it's continued, right? Because they just keep slide tackling. Yes. And, uh, and taking out players. So number four go comes out with a card. And guess what? Card. Number 11, who did the li last slide tackle, comes right back and in. And that's why the card have to be used. Otherwise, there is no repercussion and there is no learning in there. Shot on goal, but once again, it was not hit cleanly. And, and uh, direct to the hands of the keeper. Yeah, right to the hands of the keeper. Pretty, pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So all shots to net from Chancellor has been have been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easy. Pretty, pretty weak, yeah. Pretty weak. Even weak shots to the net. And there's another slide tackle that the only reason was avoided is because our player, Chelmsford, jumped up above and, and avoided it. Chris McCarthy has the ball in their corner. It's a good Set ball. The oh, there was a Chelmsford player there, Chris Babcock, but the Drake player did a nice job defending, flicked that ball away to not allow it to get in there. Chelmsford has had most of the control of this second half, even though they're not doing a ton. Um, if they're controlling it. They just can't finish. The, the the attacking third is just don't know defensive third they just don't know what to what to do there yeah and the Draco team is defending I itself very well it's just yeah, backing up the numbers yeah pick up the numbers everybody's behind the ball mm -hmm. It's on the counter now. Number, Number 11, 11 is really fast. Ooh, Oof, that was that close. Was dangerous. That was a reflection from a Chelsea player. Yes, game? a deflection Chelsea from a Chelsea player. Yeah. Yep, he tried the, the number 11 tried to cut it back. Um, it would have been intercepted. It would not have connected, but uh, the Chelsea defender touched the ball under touched the ball to to defend, but he deflected it. Fortunately, it slowed the ball down significantly in the. The, the keeper uh, was able to, Ryan Callahan was able to easily save the ball and avoid the threat. There was too much danger. Out of a round for number 11. Once again, Chelsea is just controlling the ball, making Drake it run all over the place, but then we make a misstep, right? There's a bad pass as we try to attack. So all of our great possession goes for naught. 
But here's an opportunity. Oh, but Tariq, it's all there again. They're really packed in. Oh, another missed shot. How many of that before now? That's Four five, or five, 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 five times where we've completely mishit our shot. Five different players, five different. I think it's at least four different players, if not all five. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a trend here where there's a player that's having an off night. No, it's like uh, no. Many of our players are not really having their best night. Looks like we're going to have some substitutions going on here. Three Chelmsford players coming in. Chris Grover, Ethan Hayes, and Alvaro Carrillo. Abi, Trapathi, yeah. Brian Tong, and Zach Hardy are all coming out. Interesting. There's another potential break. The ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to be a corner kick because it was deflected off a Chelmsford player. We got about 20, 23 minutes, 22 and a half minutes left to go in this game. Uh, we still haven't seen a significant change. No, I think yeah. Half one, the half two. Uh, I'm thinking that if uh, something doesn't happen soon, the coach might want to think about calling a timeout and reorganize. Yeah, and try to reorganize. Because right now it's, uh, as you said, oof. So that number 11 just had a good opportunity. He snuck in behind the defense coming from an offside position, but by the time the ball was passed to him, he was no longer offside, but uh, the defense didn't realize he was there, and he kind of walked in a little bit on the side, and f fortunately he hit it wide, but that was a very good goal-scoring opportunity. Right, and uh, the chance should be paying a lot of attention to this number 11. He's a fast player. He's making a lot of uh, danger. He's, he's creating opportunities. He's putting the, the keeper in a lot of pressure. So uh, Chenzo should pay attention to that player. So they just called a pushing foul on Drake pushing Evan Wang from behind. Balls up to Josh. Ethan Hayes now to Josh. Trying to find some room. Spread it back out to Alvaro. Oh, it's another slide tackle. Oh, and there's a shot with a deflection. Oh. oh. Well, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. That so was that was the shot. first shot in a while that was actually hit really hard. And uh, either the shot itself and that deflection had a good chance of going in, but it just went wide. But that was a good opportunity. That's it was. That's it was a good yeah. opportunity. A corner kick from ch for chance for. On uh, Sean Donna was able to put a head on the ball. Unfortunately, he did not do yeah, it that much. He didn't get on top of the ball. He yeah. he got under it and it deflected out. It's a good attempt. Well, it seems like now Chinsford will start really start building up and start putting some real pressure. A little Le bit, a little bit. They still need to do a lot more. A lot more, but this is more, um, more real pressure now than before. Before it was just diffuse whatever effort was happening in that uh, attacking third. Yep. So the ball's out of bounds. That that goal kick that occurred just out of bounds. Throw in John Mazansky. Sean calls it and get it. Maybe one and 
Well, some good passing there to get the ball to Ethan Hayes. Good overlapping run by Andrew Tong. Uh, good idea cross to cross it in front. Alvaro's got it. Tries to flick it out wide. Chris Babcock has it. Back to Mazanski. Tries a shot, cross. but he mishits it. And uh, it goes over everything. Sean Dunlap's coming out. I guess it's the first time ever that he comes out of the... Yeah, usually what happens is the uh, defensive line doesn't change doesn't a whole change. lot during the games, uh, especially the center two backs. Um, and that's where he's played all season long. So he's not been subbed out until now where he's playing a central mid position. Nice ball. Ethan Hayes. Andrew Tong, Ethan Hayes. That's a good ball across. Chris Babcock. Oh, it's a good oh, ball. So oh, that's a nice filter ball, but the, uh, the defender, Drake defender made an awesome play. He really did on that. Stretched himself very much. And, and now we have Chelmsford stretched. Recap. And, and uh, I'm keeper. Not sure what happened on the, the back end there. We had no <laughs> one back there. Nobody. That's that's the danger. W the uh, Chancellor was attacking now, but really this un uh, unprotected defense. It's a good flick by Josh. A heavy touch by Ethan Hayes. Allowed that Drake defender to get in there and knock the ball out of bounds. Drake making the substitution on the throw in. Yeah, that's... Uh, now they're not making a substitution. They're trying to make a substitution, but there was no other opportunity to make that. They have to wait for their uh, throw-in. Out of bounds on Drakeit. Jennifer quickly put the model in play. the field. I think some of our passing today has been on the light side too. We haven't had enough pace on some of the passing in general mm. and as a result um, it's allowing Drake to close in and close down on those plays versus giving the chance to play in more time which is also leading to some of these slide tackles and stuff that aren't being called very much. Yes, yes, I, I think that's, uh, that, that's, that's part of the reason those, those passes, uh, uh, the passing is happening, but uh, we end up with those passes under pr a lot of pressure. So Zach Hardy came in, but I'm not sure who went out. Alvaro went out. Alvaro went out, okay. Alvaro went out. Oh, so there's a shot. Oh, uh, it's a little bit out. Yeah, a little bit of a miss hit again. Um, was struck better, not completely clean, and as a result, it went wide. Um, Good opportunity, though. Know. So it looks like Sean Dolan's coming back in. He's taking out Chris McCarthy. Sean's going back to his uh, defensive position. Defensive position that he's played most of the year. And Andrew Tolan just gets pushed down from behind. And no call. No call. No call. So the possession game that Chancellor is playing is so far not not working out. We, we Chancellor has possession like 60, 70 percent of the time. Yeah. Uh, but the time to to convert that into goal just doesn't come. No, nope, not happening. The conversion is not happening today. So the strikers are urging the goalie to, to punt it on. Um, we have about 15 minutes left to go in the game. We're running out of time. Joshua Fuso is trying to get through. A long ball. Josh trying to make some moves to give himself some space. 
cross in. No one there again. He had a whole lot of crosses. There's nobody there. Nobody there. And then a shot from distance off target again, just wide. That would be seven shots of those. Yeah. Six or seven shots at least. Yeah. Off target or too weak to, ma to be dangerous. Yeah, not effective at all. No. So Abby came in to play now. I think now the formation is the same standard formation that James has been playing all along. That's the type of pass I'm talking about, right? A little bit weak there, right? So it gives Drake a time to close in. So and what's going on is they're playing so defensive and so back that they're just waiting for us to make, you know, that one wrong pass. So we'll make 10 good passes in a row, and then the one that we really need to make to, to finish is not good enough. And uh, there is a defender there to, to yeah, take it away. And then we, uh, we don't score. Oh, there's an opportunity in front. But you see there were four the defenders there. The player just got taken down, and they're calling a PK, I think. I think they're calling a PK. One of our guys just got completely taken down in the box, just threw right into him. I'm guessing it's a penalty kick. Yeah, it's looking like it. Okay, and Joss. So this is a good opportunity for Chelsea to tie this game up with only about 12 and a half minutes to go. Jo Joshua Fuss is going to take the, the kick. That's oh, but he puts it away. Nice play by Josh. So now 2-2. Two, two. Let's see how Chancellor reacts. Still, there is plenty of time to, to get that extra goal. Looks like Chris Grover is, is hurt in some way or, or something because he's calling for a sub. And it looks like the Chelmsford coach is calling a timeout. This is the first timeout I think Chelmsford's called in several games. So give his players a, a chance to rest. And that Watch is the goal, guys. That is a conversion by George Ofuso. We have replay. So we're back. Chelsea called the timeout. Maybe between that timeout and the uh, momentum of scoring a goal, um, maybe they'll come out with a continued sense of urgency and try to come back in this game and, and, and win it. They really need the wins. Um, their first half of the season was very difficult with a lot of tough teams. And if they want to make the playoffs, they're going to need to start to string together some wins starting right today. So Chinsworth started the season very well with two wins in a row, and after that has been difficult to come with more wins. Is that correct? That's correct. They've had a tie, and the rest have been losses. Um, it's, it's been a tough go for them. They've played a lot of strong teams. You know, it's tough for us to see, but I can't tell if it's a corner. It looks like a throw-in. This looks like a throw-in down there. Uh, yes, a throw-in. Throw-in. Yeah, so there's a throw in for the Drake side. A little flick on, nothing for the for the keeper. Ryan Callahan punts the ball, goes up to midfield. Nobody seems to be, be able to control the ball. Oh, oh another slide tackle takeout. 
a no call. Oh, a no call. I don't understand. Sean Dolan just got completely taken out. No touch it is, of the ball, it is dangerous. nothing. It is really oh, it's dangerous. so dangerous. These, someone's going to get really hurt. I mean, we've seen it already this year where two kids one game went to the hospital due to a uh, very dangerous play. And the thing is, if the referees start putting cards together, uh, giving cards early on, the game goes on this control, and that's it. That will never happen again. That's right. Absolutely. There's two Drake kids who ran into each other. when they're stopping the game because the two Drake kids are a little bit shook up but they both ran into each other and the kids are both giving the ref a thumbs up and uh, I don't know what's going on the, the referee is talking to the Drake defender num number two we assumed that the game was stopped because the kids were shaken up a little bit but I don't know what's going on it looks like the uh, the referee is asking, asking okay, the kid to go out. To leave the game, so he's asking them to come off the field. Not exactly sure why. Oh, maybe he thinks that um, the way that they hit, that it's a potential for a concussion, and therefore he's making the player come off the field to get looked at by the trainer. I think that's, that's fair. Yeah. It's, good to it's always that. safe to, to have that type of thing happen. So uh, drop ball and uh, the Chelmsford team plays the ball back to the Drake keeper as a courtesy. Oh, what are we doing? A little bit of a miscommunication back there between the defender and the keeper. And the no keeper. one's going. No one's going for the ball, other than the Drake guy. He didn't stop. Number eleven. Number didn't eleven. Stop. Yeah, he's so always a he's always a threat. Ryan Callan had to run faster for the ball, fast for the ball, and <laughs> was able to kick it out, but it was a dangerous uh, situation for no good reason. And it's hard for us to tell what's going on. Did the keeper call for the ball? Did the defender say something? It's impossible for us to know what happened, but there was definitely a breakdown in communication between the defender and the goalie there. Looks like number two tried to get back on the field. Um, and uh, he's not being allowed to get back on the field. It's a little confusing what's going on, but now he's back up to the, uh, to the, the line. check in line, the center line to, to get onto the field. So it's. There's Josh Afuso trying to make a break, and the Drake player just plays it out of bounds. I don't know what the ref is complaining about. He's yelling over at something. The Drake thing goes out away. Okay. Now we have another player, number four, who's being asked to leave the game. Don't know why. It's interesting. I huh? don't know what is happening. Looks like it's another one that they think has a potential concussion because he's going right, being asked to go right over to the the trainer. I think that player uh, might have got hit towards the back of the head or something. I'm not sure how, but I think it's the other player um, from the collision. So there was two Draker players that ran into each other. And I think this Draker player is the other Draker the player other from that, that collision. Yes. But it was interesting why they don't send them out both at the same time. Yeah, maybe they didn't realize until uh, they were seeing how that player was behaving or something, and, and they decided to pull him off. I, I don't know. Good switch of the fields here by Chelmsford, though. Andrew Tongs Smith. penetrating Smith. out to Avi Wide. Puts a cross into Joshua Fuso, who tries to play it off his chest and then volley it into the net, but he uh, just didn't have the space uh, yeah, to be able to do that. There was Drake a player was too close to him, but it was a good idea. It was a good idea. A nice chest down, the ball. Yep, he did a great job controlling that ball. Here we go again with number 11, causing problems. 
and Brian, and Brian Callahan ends up with the board. But the number 11 is just causing a lot of trouble. Yep, when we get really stretched, we have a lot of guys pushed up trying to score, and, uh, and then we don't have very many guys back playing defense. Oh, and there's, there's a ball. This is a possibility. Oh, and there it is. There it is. It's going. Oh. Uh, the defender from the Draco was able to save the ball. Oh, ball was going into the net, but it was just too slow. And the Draco defender was able to get back and yeah, prevent the, it from the going Yeah, because the Draco keeper was already beaten. Yep, he was already beaten. That was a, a nice play by Joshua Fuso. Chris Babcock is fighting in the middle. Oh, and there's a ball to Josh. He shoots. Oh. Right to the hands of the keeper. But he got completely booted after the play. And once again, nothing. No call. Oh. So many times our plays are getting taken out today. Josh is on the ground. He's in a lot of pain. He's complaining a lot of pain, yes. A lot of pain. Let's see the replay. Josh is going for the ball. That was an earlier replay that, that we're looking at. So um, that's where the Drake defender was able to come back and prevent that slow ball from coming in. Yeah, it was. We got six and a half minutes left, and uh, Josh Afuso is down. Um, the trainer is uh, trainer's out there. If Josh is not able to continue, it's going to be a a tough loss for Chelmsford in the last six and a half minutes. So let's see the replay. Here's the play. Oh, and he just slide tackles him as he shoots, completely taking him out. There was no ball nearby or anything like that. That Obvious could be a penalty. penalty kick again right there that was missed by the referees. That's three penalty kicks that should have occurred so far in this game that have not been called by these referees. Not even a foul call on this play. Not even a foul. Not even a foul. Not even a foul. Just don't understand it. So I think what the main mission of the referees in these kind of games is to keep the safety of the kids. That, w that well, was mission number one. If that's mission number one, they're failing. Yeah. They're failing. It's not happening whatsoever. Amazing how late and bad that was. Yeah, there was no ball anywhere. So Alvaro seemed to have been to sub Josh Fuso. Hopefully Josh, Josh can recover and come back quickly because he can do a lot of damage. He has been scoring almost every, almost every game. Yep, he's been scoring a lot for Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Here's an opportunity, Chris Babcock with the ball. Oh, he tries to feed it out wide to Abby. Well, the breaker player, the breaker player is stopped that there was three guys on the one. Oh, and here's an opportunity. Abby makes a move, shoots. Oh, oh there was a defender. Blocked the by the Drake defender. Wow, that was really that fortunate. Was nice. Fortunate for Drake. That was a yeah. good opportunity there. Another good chance for Chelsea. And that was a good shot from Abby. That was. That was another strong shot. So we've had seven weak shots ineffective so far. Two strong shots, both blocked, deflected in some way. Just not getting a lot of uh, luck slash ability to, to finish today. And here's a breaking opportunity. Mm. Oh, Draco good defending. The good Chris defending. McCartan was able to defend. Oh, and another slide tackle by Drake. Drake is slide tackling all over this field. Another slide tackle by Drake from behind on Abby. That's a nice ball to uh, Chris Babcock. Pass it over to Alvaro. Wasn't able it's to control unbelievable it. the amount of slide tackling and kids getting taken out in this game. That slide tackling is, is, is an art. You have to be careful. You have oh, to be you able have to, to be do it. So good at it. You have to be so good at it. And the referee has to watch very closely because that can be very dangerous. 
So Josh seems to be okay. He's coming back. We only got about four minutes to go here, so Thompson's running out of time to uh, get that deciding goal. They're putting a lot of pressure on. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Drake at end. Good ball yeah, movement. Switching fields. Abby's got the ball. Nice pass to Evan Wang. Oh, Crosses over. Another miss hit. Runs too far. He miss hit it, and therefore, the ball went over and wide. Oh, oh, it looks like he may be calling an offside as well. So that wouldn't have counted. It anyway. didn't matter. It looks like Evan Wang was in an offside position when when he was there. So the ball ended up not being a goal kick, but um, an offside, uh, a free kick went offside. Even and once again, our play gets taken uh, out after the play uh, by the Drake player. Andrew was taken down. Yes, I was trying to find, uh, find the name. Uh, because of the opportunity for our cross, oh. cross goes. Oh, we are all over them inside. And uh, just everyone is crowded in there. We are so all over them in front of the net. What are they calling? Oh, they're calling a goal kick. Goal kick. It's a goal kick, but yeah, the chance for is putting a lot of pressure. A lot but, uh, of pressure. We just cannot get it to go. And uh, Draco is defending himself. He's just put it, put in numbers. Yeah. Put in numbers. We only get about two minutes to go in the game. So, like I said, we are running out of time. And Drake is happy with just booting the ball downfield. Nice tackle by Evan Wang. Ball up to Joshua Fusho. We have an opportunity here. There's about three chumps of players. Abby streaking down the side. Oh, he's got an opportunity to shoot. Oh! oh goes out. Just oh. wide. Oh, my God. It was just wide. It was all there. Nice, oh. nice overlap by uh, Abby. Nice pass by uh, Josh. Just the final touch. Just a little bit uh, uh, wide open. And uh, we have replayed. This is, here is the match of the replay. You see how close he goes to the post, but oh. he's not there. Inches from the post. Yes. Nice execution, almost perfect. Chelsea wins the ball. Abby fakes the pass, gets it through to Josh. Josh. Nice to Brian. And it's an offside. On an offside. Called anyway, an offside. but right now the chance for team is showing urgency. Yeah. The bad thing is only half two minutes left. Yeah, where, where, where was the urgency all game? This is what was needed all game. Yeah. And he calls that for a foul on Brian Tong. And we had all these takeouts after the play with no call. We have to be very careful. We have no one back there. Drake is behind our line. Ball went out of bounds. And that's the game. And they call the game, and that was not two minutes. We, about 30 seconds ago, we went into the two-minute mark. So the last uh, that happened exactly the same thing with the first yeah, uh, half. Yeah, I, th I think the, the uh, referees have another assignment to get to, so they decided to cut this game short instead of giving both teams the opportunity to play. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the game for today: two-two, Draco and uh, Chenzo. That was a hard-fought game and a uh, beautiful evening. Two-two, so two-two final. Two-two final. Chelsea uh, really needed the win. At least they came back and got at least a point. Have a good evening, everyone. Enjoy your rest of your day.